Thank you for meeting with us. For our Biapal pics here at Asia Week New York, we were very intrigued by this painting. Can you tell us about it? Yes, um, this is a 15th century paint, Chinese painting um, on silk. There's probably a little bit of color here, but it's mainly ink on silk. And the subject, it's anonymous, it is not signed. The subject is a Confucian gentleman bowing to a Taoist immortal, Li Tiaguai. The Confucian gentleman has come maybe a long way. He's left his horse here. It's basically to, you know, sort of the educated person uh, paying homage to this person who is an immortal and you know, who he may want favors from this immortal or you know, asking for uh, long life or something like that. It's uh, very, very accomplished brush, brushwork, which in Chinese paintings, uh, brushwork is all um, in many ways. The details on the faces are is just fantastic. And then it's very, um, very quick painting on the clothing of this gentleman and kind of matches up to the hanging vines up here. This is an unusual painting also. It's this subject uh, we've never seen. It was, uh, I'm very happy to say, the first thing we sold out of this exhibition, um, probably because it's uh, a little off the beaten track, actually. So these, these big Ming paintings, although um, they look a little bit dark, they're not, because it's on silk and it has aged over the years. Um, if you go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and you go through the galleries, there's a wonderful exhibition there right now. Um, you'll see that, that most of the Ming paintings, you have to just change the channel a little bit with your eyes. Most of the Ming paintings on silk are slightly darker. Um, uh, we bought this painting in Japan. And one of the ways you can tell that is from the mounting, which is very, very elaborate. To the, Jap the Japanese collected these kinds of paintings um, for many, many years. And actually at Kaikado, we buy a lot um, of our paintings and our works of art out of Japan because the owners of the gallery, the Rogers, lived there for 25 years and their um, connections are run very deep there. For me, when I look at this painting, I see a lot of empty space and these figures placed uh, strategically in the painting. What can you tell me about this style of composition? Well, as I say, it's a little bit unusual. You, you really don't have these kind of isolated figures that often. That's why, probably why we bought it, because it, you don't see this very often. But that empty space is typical 15th century Ming paintings, and it harks back to the very classical time in the Song Dynasty in the 12th century, where the empty space says more about the painting than actually you know, what is painted. And, and, you, uh, and certainly in the early days, you know, those paintings were to transport you. This is a different, this is sending a different kind of message, I think. This is more of a, uh, you know, a, a lesson in a way. This kind of brushwork would start in the 12th century of doing rock work like this and just these little dots. That's, it's very abstract, but you know exactly what you're looking at when you see it. And that's one of the great things about Chinese paintings is that they are very contemporary by today's standards because it's all, it's abstract, it's brushwork. You are working with Kaikodo Gallery. Can you tell us a bit about the gallery and yourself? Well, I can tell you that this is our 20th anniversary in New York City this year. Um, the Rogers bought a building here in 1996, and they had been operating out of Japan since 1983. Um, I joined them in 96, and I worked at Sotheby's for 20 years before that as uh, head of the Chinese department there and then left 20 years ago, and now I've been here 20 years. So at this point, I must know something. I don't know. Um, uh, 40 years, a lifetime um, of studying Chinese art. And you know, almost every day, there's something else to learn. Because we cover a, a, a very uh, wide range. Chinese paintings, fine art, objects, bronzes, sculpture, a little bit of Japanese, and we also do uh, contemporary ink. So we're we're wide-ranging. Carol Conover, thank you. Thank you.